Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, let's talk about a fight I actually have interest in talking about. Really, for betting purposes, I found that the line in this fight an absolute joke. I really feel this is an opportunity for betters, as Dwyer likes to say. And uh, a really great opportunity for what is a, I believe, a very mispriced fight here between Mark Masayo versus Ray Vargas. Masayo is the newly crowned featherweight champion for the WBC in the featherweight division. Coming off an upset loss against an upset victory over Gary Russell Jr., the longest reigning, reigning champion of the time, though very inactive champion. It wasn't really an upset because of Masayo's youth his strength, his size, and what he brings to the table, and also Gary's inactivity. But you just never know when it comes to PBC A-side fighters if the B-side in those events are going to get the decision. And the judges did everything they can to rob Masayo in what was a very thin majority decision victory over Russell, 115-113 on two cards in a... Uh, an actual draw on the on the third card. So it was really hard to get a decision over Gary Russell. He was really one of the most protected fighters out there. I mean, it was almost impossible to get a decision against that. Not a bad fighter, but not as good as advertised. And y'all saw on that night. But this is a totally different style here. Ray Vargas is a lot taller, leaner, moving up from 122 pounds. Not a natural featherweight. And that's really the big difference in this matchup. Masayo is a natural featherweight. Really is a... It's unreal his physicality he brings as a featherweight. He looks like a damn junior welterweight in there. He's got the Manny Pacquiao soccer legs. He's the much stronger, physically stronger guy in this matchup. And he brings the type of style that's going to provide fits for Ray Vargas, who is not an elite, elusive boxer. He's not a guy that tries to establish distance with his jab. He just doesn't have a good jab. It's, it's not a great jab. So that's a big disadvantage in this fight. He is a guy that doesn't like to keep you at a distance with his jab. That's not his strength. His strength is his hooks, his hook to the body, his, hook, his right hook to the head. He's a, he's a guy that actually likes to get in the trenches. Typical Mexican fighter who gets punched in the mouth and likes to fight back hard or even harder. And that's going to be his demise against Mark Masayo. Masayo is a very good pressure fighter with good counter punching skills, a good jab, a great right counter right hand to the body. He's got counter punching skills. He's the much physically stronger guy here. Of course, Vargas's height, size is. Uh, is significant for a featherweight but he's not a guy that can keep you at a distance i've seen a lot of short for, you know like lesser fighters in masayo shorter fighters that can easily just get in on, on ray vargas the guy is just he doesn't establish distance well likes to get in there and fight when he gets punched in the mouth and he is not the most he can be easily marked up he can get cut up pretty easily so this is a, a fight where you can be a little bold here. Maybe Masayo by stoppage even. I'm very shocked at the odds. They actually have Ray Vargas as a slight favorite. Even though Vargas is coming into this fight with absolutely no momentum. Since the, the pandemic hit, he's fought only once. In the past three years. One fight in 2019. One fight last year. And he's coming into this fight with absolutely no momentum. He's not the natural featherweight here. He's not the physically stronger guy here. He is not an elite boxer with an elite jab. He can be easily stepped to, easily cut the distance. Short, shorter, lesser fighters were able to cut the distance and put hands on Ray Vargas. I expect a clear victory for Masayo, maybe, maybe even by knockout. Let's look at the odds real quick. Let's look at the odds for Masayo Ray Vargas. It's This is an absolute joke to me. <laughs> I mean, I think the odds makers, they do this a lot. They try to mindfuck you. They try to, like, make the guy that shouldn't be the favorite, the favorite, 
in, in order to really fuck with your head by looking at the, the numbers and at the line and make you bet on the favorite. For example, Fundora Lubin. I was shocked. <laughs> Lubin was the favorite, despite him getting knocked out, losing, and being rocked in multiple fights, and considering the, the physical stature of Fundora, and he's the real deal. So, that was pretty much a mind fuck, though. I didn't fall for it. A lot of people did. Like idiots. But, uh, this fight, I'm not gonna fall for it either, even though, I mean, Messiah was as high as a plus 105 underdog. So that was, a that was an absolute joke to me. Let's see the prop bets. Messiah by knockout, plus 400 is looking very tasty. But we're not gonna be greedy here. We're not gonna take super risks. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, be conservative. We're not gonna be too bold here. We're not gonna be too greedy. We're gonna take Messiah by money line straight up to win. I expect him to win very clear cut. May even may even stop Ray Vargas on cuts. I just think he's too physically strong for him. Too much of a uh, of a sturdy guy. Vargas will, does won't have the power to hurt him or back him off. He'll he'll give Masai opportunities because Vargas likes to get in there and fight and throws wild hooks at times when he gets hit. So. I expect Masai to win clearly, maybe, maybe maybe, even stop some later in the fight. But of course, we're just going to keep it safe, Masai by money line. And what should be a good and entertaining fight, both guys like to go in there and fight, throw big shots. And I expect some damage done in this fight. Vargas will, will try like hell, he throws big punches, but he just doesn't have the firepower, doesn't have the elusiveness, doesn't have the uh, durability with his skin, and doesn't have... The physical strength to, to match Messiah. Messiah will walk him down, beat him up, and might even stop him. But y'all let me know what y'all think. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.